Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can live stream directly to your Facebook business page using the live streaming software Restream.io. Restream.io is a powerful live streaming software which enables you to live stream to multiple channels all at the same time, capturing chat and responding to messages whilst you are live. You can host your live show with guests and with screen sharing, and it makes your brand come alive on two video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Restream.io to do just that, to live stream directly from your browser on your laptop or your desktop straight into your Facebook business page. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital visibility strategist and tech coach and I help to simplify the tools that you need as an entrepreneur to become more visible and make a bigger impact on your online audience. If you enjoy this video and would like to see more videos around live streaming and becoming more visible online, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell if you want to be informed the next time I upload a new video. So let's jump into the Restream.io software and go through the basics that you need to have in place so that you'll be confident and prepared to go live onto your Facebook business page. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get started in Restream. This will enable you to create an account and go into the Restream software. So once you've logged into Restream, I just want to give you a little overview of the actual dashboard so that you know where you need to go to access all of the great features inside the software. So the first thing you want to do up here on the left is the home area. This will bring you to this dashboard which we are at at the moment. Underneath that, it's actually where you are going to stream to. So this is where you set up your destinations so that you can link up up to 30 different platforms as you wish. The most popular platforms for entrepreneurs and small business owners to use for live streaming would be Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, but there are lots and lots of other platforms that you can use the Restream.io software for. I'm going to run through how to add your channel in just a moment. The next button down is the live studio. This is where we will be going to actually go live directly to our audience from within our browser. The next section down is your analytics. This is a great place to look at who joined you on your live stream, how many people were interacting with your live stream and leaving messages. The next part down in the dashboard is the live stream scheduler. Now this is actually where you stream live to your social media platforms, but with a pre-recorded video. The next section down is the dashboard menu. So this gives you all of the different options that you can do. The next thing that comes in really handy when you are using the studio area, especially if you are live streaming to multiple platforms, is to download the chat widget, which comes along with the Restream.io software. To get to that, you click on the chat button here, and it will enable you to download a free flowing chat widget so that you can move it around whilst you're live and access all the chat from the various platforms that you are actually streaming to. So to go ahead and download that, you just click on the download for Mac and if you are on an XP, it will have clicked to download for XP. Go ahead and do that, follow the instructions, save it to your computer and it will be there ready for you to use every time you go live using Restream to your social media platforms. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you in this video how to use the Live Studio Pro inside the Restream software from your desktop browser. But before we do that, we need to connect our destinations. In other words, we need to connect where we are going to be live streaming to into the Restream.io software. So to do that, we just need to go back to the destination tab. So in order for you to connect your Facebook business page to Restream.io, you do need to go through a process, which I'm going to go over right now. So we're going to go ahead and click Add Channel. Now you can see that there are lots and lots of different options. And as we said before, there are up to 30 different social media channels that you can connect your Restream software to. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Facebook business page to your streaming software. So you're going to go ahead and click on this orange box here. 
Now it's going to give you some instructions. So you go ahead and click connect Facebook. What this is going to do is open up a connection between your Restream software and your own Facebook business page. And you are gonna to have to approve what you would want Restream to have access to. So if you are just managing your own Facebook business page, you can go ahead and just log in as yourself and give full permission to Restream so that when you do go live, you'll have the access to all the pages that you are admin of. If however you are a social media manager and you have access to lots of different pages, you can actually go in and click the edit this button and actually tell Restream which pages you are allowed to have access to. But I'm gonna go ahead and click continue as Anita. In this section, this is asking Facebook whether you are happy for Restream to post to your personal profile as well. Now Restream defaults to your personal profile, but on this video, we're actually showing you how to connect your Facebook business page. So you could leave this setting as it is for the time being and click OK. Now what it's going to do is it's going to ask you what it's allowed to do and whether it's allowed to connect to your Facebook business page. So you're going to go ahead and click OK. Now what you've done is you've given permission for the streaming software to integrate into your Facebook business page. Here you can actually choose which platform you allow Restream to stream to and you can always add to this later on. So I'm going to go ahead and find my business page which is Anita Wong. So once you've chosen your public page, you click save. Now, as you can see here, it is now slightly highlighted with a blue tick box. This shows that Restream is now connected to my Facebook business page, ready for me to go live whenever I want to. So the next stage of live streaming using Restream is to prepare your live studio. There are no third party plugins needed and there are no other connections that you need to put onto your computer. Everything that you need to do can be done inside the Restream studio. So let's jump back into the studio and show you how to configure that so that when you do go live, everything is in the right place. So to access the live stream studio from your browser you just go ahead and click the camera button here and it's going to open up the live studio for you now inside the live studio there are some options that you need to be aware of before you go live just so that you're comfortable when you actually go live and you're not being distracted from your live stream so the first one is is to check your equipment over by clicking the settings button this will allow you to choose the audio input for your live stream and your video camera. So I've got mine set on my webcam, which is the one that I'm using at the moment. If you have a separate microphone such as this, you can choose to use that microphone as well. Once that's set up, just go ahead and click that and that setting is down. That will remain your default as long as your microphone and your webcam are plugged in. Okay, so the next thing is that you can mute yourself by clicking the mute button and you can turn off your camera if you wish during the live stream. The next option along in the dashboard down the bottom is the share your screen. Now this is ideal if you have a PowerPoint presentation to share or you want to share another window in your Chrome browser. To do this, you click on the share screen button and along here you can see that you can choose the entire screen you can choose an application window or you can choose a Chrome tab. So if I were to go ahead and choose a different Chrome tab to the one I'm using, I can click share. Now what this does here is that inside the studio, if you click the spotlight button, as you can see, I am sharing a picture of myself, which is the video, and I'm also sharing a screen capture of the other tab that I'm using inside my Chrome. To remove your screen sharing, you can either turn off the spotlight toggle so it's just you on the screen, or you can completely stop your screen sharing from here. The next one along is inviting guests. So if you want to invite a guest and you can have up to 10 people into your stream on your Facebook business page, you can use this particular live stream tab. And you can just copy it like this, and this is your, in, your unique live invitation to your guests. So you can go ahead and copy that and send that to your guests if you are going to be doing an interview or a group live stream. The next one along here is to play a local video. 
Now this is for a slightly more advanced option, but this is where you can actually upload a video from your computer and play that instead of being the live person. So that's the basics of the studio as we see it here. Now on the right hand side over here, we come to some more configuration. And I want to take a little bit of time to help you go through this so that your live streaming experience will be all set up and ready for when you go live on your Facebook business page and you will know exactly where everything is. And you can also brand your live stream inside this area. So the chat is where all the chat from the various social media platforms that you are live streaming to will appear. As you can see down here, we have what's known as your restream stream. And then when I am live inside my Facebook business page, my Facebook stream will be open as well for chat. And this will be visible inside this chat widget. If however, you wanted to use the third party chat widget, which is the one that sits beside your screen, you can also do that by clicking the restream chat bar inside your own computer. But for now, we're going to stick to the studio as we know it. Another option here is called captions. Now this is where you can actually show a caption on top of your video, just around here, so that you can actually plan your live stream more effectively. You can show people's comments to your live stream. So you can have your, your viewers questions and comments along there as well. Just to give you an example, if I was to click show here, it says follow us on Twitter at Restream.io. So as you can see, you can actually have whatever you want on there as well. And you can also add your own text. So the primary text is the top bit. So let's put live Q&A. And the bottom one is where you can write your content. So I've put live streaming with Restream.io. Click add the caption. And then if you click show, it will show the caption at the bottom here. Now the color configuration of your caption is set inside the graphics and setup area. So let's just leave that there for the time being. If we move along to the graphics area, you can see that you have lots of options to personalize and brand your own live stream. Once you've popped this information into the live studio, you don't have to keep repeating the upload. Restream.io will save this information for you. So you can upload your own logo. So I could show my logo at the top right hand side. You could also upload different variations of your logo depending on what you are live streaming about. You can add an overlay. So this type of overlay you can add in and then you can remove. You can create an overlay that sits on top of your video by going into a photo editing tool such as Canva and downloading the graphic with a transparent background. Here we also have the option to upload a video. Now this is a really great area for you to upload a pre live stream video, which when you go live, you can play whilst you're preparing everything in the background. So if I was to show you the restream default video that comes inside the restream studio for you to use, it will look like this. <laughs> And that gives a countdown option, or you could use one that you've uploaded yourself, like the one I prepared earlier. Now these are really useful additions to your live streaming because when you go live on your Facebook business page, it does take Facebook a few seconds to notify your followers that you're going live. So you can actually pop this pre-video into the live so that it allows Facebook to notify people that you're actually going live. And so when the countdown is finished, you'll be all ready for when the camera and the spotlight is on you. Another feature of the Restream Studio is to add a background to your presentation. Now, if I were to put my spotlight back on, as you can see, the background at the moment is just dark black. Now, if I were to add a background behind, I've put the Restream graphic behind, but you could put your own branded graphic behind there. And again, you can create that inside a photo editing software such as Canva or Photoshop. Now, the next part of the setup is to put your name. So your name can be shown up at the very bottom here and you can add on your name as much as you want. So I normally have Anita, digital visibility strategist with a nice little picture of me. Now, if I was to take the caption away, 
the name sits at the bottom nicely for everybody to see. Now you can change the primary color. So in other words, the background color that's behind there, you can change to your brand color or one that would make your writing stand out. So I could change this along to a different color. If you don't know the hex color of your brand, then you can go ahead and click the color and you get a color wheel, which you can then select to change the background of your color. So as you can see, I could use a purple if I wanted to. And then that is automatically saved by the live stream studio for you. So that's in the graphic area. So let's have a little look in the setup area. So the setup area is where you put your video title and the description of what it is you're going to be talking about in your live stream on your Facebook business page. Once you've pressed update all, what that will do is it will give the title and the description to all of the platforms that you have got linked to your Restream account. So that covers the basic features of the Restream.io studio. And once you've done this configuration once, you won't have to do it again. All you have to do is to jump into your live studio and go live onto your Facebook business page. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now. Before you go live on your Facebook business page, it's always a good idea to let your fans and your followers know that you're going to be going live that day. Giving notice to your fans on your Facebook business page before you go live will generate excitement and anticipation. So I suggest that you do one or two posts throughout the day prior to going live, telling your fans that you're going to be going live and what you're going to be going live about. So once you've told your fans that you're going to be going live today, all you have to do is jump into your live restream studio and go live. So here's how to do that. So we're inside the live studio. And as you can see up here, we have this big orange go live button. Now all you have to do is click that live button. Now don't forget that if you are coming in and doing lots of live streams to your Facebook business page, then the setup option needs to be set up for each individual live stream that you do so that your title and your description matches the topic of your live stream. Then I suggest you click the chat button and have the chat ready for when people start interacting with you when you are live. As you can see up here, we have a preview area. Then this is showing you what you look like on your screen as we stand and also what you will look like to your fans on Facebook. Now, remember, we've already connected our Facebook business page when we did the setup. We've already told our Facebook followers that we're going to be going live. So all that's needed now is to go in and set up ready to go. So once you're happy with your microphone and your camera and your lighting, then you can go ahead and click the go live button. So now I'm live on my Facebook business page. Hi everyone, welcome to my live today. Today I'm test running my restream.io live studio. I'm actually live streaming directly from my internet browser on my laptop in my home studio. And I'm testing out how to do this. So as you can see from this live studio i'm live up the top here and it's showing that i'm live and down the bottom here it has the restream chat tab open and also my facebook business page chat open so as you can see now somebody has actually said hello anita and they have actually given me a little wave so what i can do with that is i can show that chat on my screen as you can see here my comment is visible to everybody on my live stream now, if I were to go into my Facebook business page, you can see that the writing is visible here, the caption that I've just added. And I am live with all my branding. So there's my logo at the top right hand side. And my chat is down here at the bottom left, which is the chat that I've just put in my live stream like here. If you wanted to share your screen whilst you're live, all you have to do is come over to the pre-prepared shared screen that we prepared earlier and click the spotlight button. And this will bring up both you and the shared screen on your live stream. And you can have this in two different configurations. You can have it as the top one, which is the top one here on the left is a better option if you are interviewing people because it puts both of you in the central part. If you are sharing your screen, I suggest you use the second option, which gives you a more horizontal view to your live stream.
And as you can see here on my live stream, you can see that I'm showing a screen share of my screen and I'm also talking on the left hand side. So those options are really useful if you want to screen share or you have more than one person on the interview. If you have multiple people interviewing at the same time, then you will have more and more boxes available to move people around. To end your live stream, all you have to do is click the finish button. It will ask you whether you are sure you want to end your live stream, so you go ahead and click OK. And then that will stop the live stream completely from your Facebook business page. Now, what that will do is it will stop it and the video on your actual Facebook business page will show that the live video has been stopped. You'll then be able to go back into your Facebook business page and configure and optimize that live video. Wasn't that awesome? Really easy way to live stream directly from your desktop browser to your Facebook business page. Once the setup's done, you can go in and out of the live studio as many times as you wish to live stream directly to your social media platforms. Not only can you do Facebook business page, but you can also live stream into Facebook groups at the same time and YouTube and Twitter and LinkedIn, up to 30 different social media platforms at the same time. My name is Anita Wong. If you have any questions whatsoever about this video or live streaming using Restream.io, please don't hesitate to pop them in the comments below this video. So take care and I will see you in my next video.